Can kissing really put someone to sleep? How many muscles does it take to smooch your significant other? And can a makeout session really help burn off unwanted calories? Keep watching to learn the surprising side effects of kissing. Kiss me. Kissing someone isn't just fun, it can also improve your mental health. According to the British Council, kissing ramps up the production of dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin, three hormones known for making us feel good by activating the brain's pleasure centers. Dopamine is extremely important in regulating stress, since it responds to stress as it happens. Additionally, people with long-term stress tend to produce lower levels of dopamine, which can lead to a cycle of stress that's not easy to combat. So why not reduce your stress naturally through kissing? University of Arizona professor and doctor of philosophy and communication Corey Floyd says that affection people have better odds of reducing stress than non-affectionate people. One of Floyd's studies notes that kissing can lower stress. Floyd's research has found that people who openly show their affection do not respond as negatively or sharply to stress as those who are less affectionate. Kissing can also do wonders for your heart. Cardiologist Christopher Suhard tells Scripps, Blood pressure responds to calmness and peace. If you're in love, you're calmer and more at peace, which could translate into lower blood pressure. If your parents told you not to kiss other boys or girls when you were younger because you could get sick, they weren't necessarily wrong. The truth is, our mouths harbor a lot of bacteria. According to NIH News & Health, our mouths hold around 700 species of microbes. That's a whole lot of potential germs to be spreading between you and another person when you kiss. Oh, I can't bear to watch. Mononucleosis is one of the most common diseases you can transfer to each other when kissing. The condition typically comes with a sore throat, swollen tonsils, and a fever, but it may also produce complications with the spleen, liver, or heart. Other viruses like Ebola and Zika are also easily transferred from one person to another through saliva. If you've ever felt a strange tingling feeling on your lip a day or so after kissing someone, you probably know that what's coming is a painful cold sore. Not only are cold sores unsightly with their red and blistered appearance, but they can also last for several days or even weeks. They often are a result of being infected with the herpes virus, which is easily spread through, you guessed it, smooching. Although having herpes on your mouth sounds scary, cold sores usually go away on their own even without the help of medicine, although some treatments can speed up the healing process. Still, if you have a cold sore, it's important to avoid kissing anyone until it goes away so you don't spread it. Also, refrain from sharing lip balm, makeup, utensils, drinks, and anything else that touches your mouth until you're fully healed. Similarly, if your partner is the one with the cold sore, you might want to swap kissing for cuddling until they're clear. When you kiss someone, even if it's just a peck on the cheek, you use your facial muscles. According to the American Journal of Medicine, you can use anywhere from 2 to 34 facial muscles while kissing, depending on how into your smooches you get. These face workouts can give you plenty of benefits. For starters, strengthening the complex circular muscle that forms the majority of the lips, a muscle known as orbicularis oris, is important for keeping food down after swallowing. Keeping this muscle strong by kissing helps you with swallowing, chewing, and of course, kissing. Also, researchers from the Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine say that exercising the face may reduce wrinkles and make you look younger. In an article from Northwestern Now, assistant research professor Emily Poon explains, Muscle growth is increasing the facial volume and counteracting the effects of age-related fat thinning and skin loosening. So if you ever feel the need to experiment with facial exercises to see if they improve wrinkles, kissing might be a fun way to do it. According to Infinity Dental Associates, one of saliva's most important roles is to act as a natural cleanser for the mouth. As saliva moves through your mouth, it washes away food and drink particles that normally would stay on your teeth until you brush them. Saliva also helps combat germs in your mouth and contains important minerals and nutrients your teeth need to stay strong and healthy. Kissing, especially passionate kissing, boosts saliva production, which can help your mouth stay clean. So there may be some benefits for you and your mouth when you participate in deep kissing with a partner. Oh my. <laughs> Are all fluid transfer activities like this? But it's not all good news. When you kiss someone, especially with deep, passionate kisses, you share saliva. That saliva hides a lot of germs that can harm an otherwise healthy mouth. A study published in Microbiome found that couples who kiss frequently have more microbiota in their mouths, meaning more opportunities for germs. Some of those germs transform sugar into teeth-destroying acids that break down enamel. And if you kiss someone with cavities, you might even take that cavity-causing bacteria into your own mouth. Doctor of Dental Surgery Emmanuel Leliev tells Self, Cleansing your mouth with an antiseptic mouth rinse after intimate contact should lessen your susceptibility. So be sure to have your tooth care products handy after smooching to keep your oral health in check. Kissing your partner goodnight is a habit for many couples who've been together for a while. However, science suggests that this simple bedtime act can have some impressive benefits for your sleep. According to the Better Sleep Council, showing affection or being intimate before you go to sleep can improve your overall sleep quality that night thanks to the ramped-up production of oxytocin, a hormone produced during intimacy with your loved one. 
A silent night study researched the effects of a goodnight kiss on the body's ability to sleep. The study found that a whopping 70% of participants reported better sleep if they kissed their partners goodnight. Additionally, as many as 38% of women admitted to sleeping poorly if they didn't have that kiss before bedtime. Silent night sleep expert Narina Ramlikan explains, Hearing that people sleep better after a good night's sleep makes sense, as kissing decreases the stress hormone cortisol and increases serotonin levels in the brain, so it can have a similar effect to meditation, which is a great way to drift off. Having a hard time getting along with your partner lately? Maybe all you need to do is kiss more frequently to remind yourself why you're together. The oxytocin generated when you kiss doesn't just help you sleep. Known as the love hormone, oxytocin also strengthens feelings of love and affection. Oxytocin's effects aren't limited to humans. Lions and dogs who participate in kissing-like behaviors, like licking and nuzzling, do so as part of their communication and bonding process. Rutgers University researcher Helen Fisher explains that kissing helps people find mates. Fisher has found that kissing can access the sex drive, feelings of passionate love, and attachment. All of this helps people form bonds long enough to have children together. The British Council has also found that the increased serotonin production resulting from kissing can help create tight bonds with a partner, as serotonin helps us retain the memory of a kiss and the feelings we have of enjoying it. Some evidence suggests people with food allergies can be at risk for allergic reactions when they kiss someone. A study published in the Journal of Investigational Allergology and Clinical Immunology assessed allergic reactions in more than 1,100 survey respondents relating to close contact, including kissing with other people. Allergic reactions when in close contact with someone who recently ate a food the other person was allergic to were reported in 12% of respondents. Some patients had an allergic reaction hours after their partner finished a meal or even after they brushed their teeth because their saliva still contain the allergen. Non-allergic partners should take care to avoid kissing their partners for 16 to 24 hours if they eat something their partner is allergic to. It might not be as good as a trip to the gym, but passionate kissing can help you shed a few unwanted calories. University of Louisville professor Bryant Stanford tells WebMD, during a really, really passionate kiss, you might burn two calories a minute, double your metabolic rate. He adds that turning up the volume on a kiss could have a similar caloric burn as a brisk walk. According to Healthline, the number of calories you burn when kissing depends on multiple factors, like your age, weight, biological sex, and the intensity of the kiss. With really passionate kissing, it may be possible to burn as many as 26 calories per minute. Basically, the more you move during a kiss, the more calories you can burn. So if you want to maximize the caloric burn of a kiss, using your hands to explore a partner or making out might prove to be more beneficial than a simple peck or two. Kissing might introduce germs, allergens, and bacteria into your body. However, being exposed to new bacteria isn't always a bad thing. According to the Better Health Channel, when your body takes in new germs from your partner, your immune system jumps into action to combat those germs, essentially boosting your immunity. An article in Cell Research explains that a person's microbiome plays a key role in building immunity against health problems like inflammation, metabolic disease, and digestive problems. As kissable as baby cheeks are, it's important to show caution when getting too close. Kissing a baby can be dangerous for them and their immature immune systems. According to women and infants, respiratory syncytial virus, also known as RSV, is a highly contagious respiratory virus caused by physical contact with someone carrying the virus. Kissing is an easy way to spread this virus. The CDC adds that babies six months or younger are especially susceptible to developing severe symptoms from RSV, as are premature babies and children with weakened immune systems. Severe RSV can lead to complications like pneumonia and respiratory inflammation. Pediatrician Hansa Bargava states, Spread of infection through kissing depends on a number of factors, such as where the baby was kissed. Near her mouth or nose is worse than on her feet, and kisses on fingers are also worse, as babies can suck their fingers. She adds there's minimal risk of kissing babies on the feet. One of the best ways to keep babies safe from RSV is to keep them away from sick people and to wash your hands frequently, especially before holding a baby. And be careful about kissing.